Join your sides. Dave McKinley has been speaking with officials today about what they're doing to be ready when the snow does hit tomorrow. Hey, Dave. Hi there, Scott. You know, make no doubt about it. They are anticipating a significant weather event here, but they're prepping for it no differently than they might ordinarily do, with the exception, perhaps in some cases, where there had to be some minor adjustments made due to what we'll call the COVID effect. As COVID has affected at times businesses and schools and their ability to open due to lack of staff, it stands to reason there might be some plow operators unable to come in to work over the next few days. We, like every industry, uh, have had folks who have got COVID and uh, have to be out because of that. But the city of Buffalo, like other municipalities, saying they're prepared for that too. Uh, in the division of streets, that's primarily responsible for the snow plowing, um, but we're able to pull some employees from uh, parks, from water, uh, even the Buffalo Sewer Authority is able to provide some employees so that we can backfill any uh, vacancies that we have. So we wouldn't expect to hear streets aren't getting plowed because COVID. I think that's, uh, that's our goal. The State Thruway Authority also says it has some plow operators out sick, but will bring in others from other parts of the state not as affected by the storm. And Erie County sent us a statement saying as well that we have had a few employees in each district test positive, but at this time we have staff sufficient to handle the upcoming snow event for Wednesday and Thursday. Meanwhile, West Seneca has another issue, the Christmas fire at their town highway barn, which resulted in the loss of seven trucks from their fleet of 17 but several other towns and the county have sent in spare trucks to make up the difference. You always hear Buffalo, Western New York, City of Good Neighbors. It, it's totally true. Um, it, it's been, the support has been overwhelming. Um, they may not be able to offer you know, a plow truck, but possibly some other help. Um, so we appreciate all of that. It's, uh, it's huge. Chictawaga was among those towns which sent uh, a plow truck to West Seneca. There, its highway superintendent, Mark Wegner, says that was no problem because Chictawaga had two spare trucks uh, as well. While they do have a driver out sick with COVID, he tells us they have a backup driver already, so they're square there as well. Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News.